Jenny, the space between your father and I is a synagogue the size of the Superdome. That's not too much in common. And maybe being black and Jewish at the same time for him is unacceptable, only unless you want it. You know that the dream evades me like sleep on finals week and all the time that's been lost that I tried to keep when you could cry until the sky spills or look each other in the iris and not blink until your eyes are weak from looking each other in the iris, we don't. In a situation with too much pride to speak, too much history to forget, and maybe too much religion for us to fit in, we're settling for better off dead, waiting until the end, and holding each other's hands through the holes we've punched in the fence. And I'm not doing this. I don't choreograph last dances because the music in my head doesn't take smoke breaks or classes on risk management. Your old man's hang-ups might be enough to break up the song's arrangements, but Understand these types of things don't go out like candles or simple agreements with an awkward hug and thanks for the good day, good luck, good game, good night. For your own happenings to happen, you have to manage to blow fire back at the dragon. And from our grandparents' past, from places too dark to shine, you would have thought that we would have learned by now how to hold on even when our arms are tied. So understand, this isn't going out like a pack of wet matches. We're going down like any helicopter in a Bruce Willis flick. Loud, badass, exploding in slow motion, and somehow alive after it's all said and done with. Similar to when we have sex. Loud, badass, exploding in slow motion, and somehow that argument we were having beforehand is all said and done with. I don't know where I was going with that. That was a horrible analogy, but... You said you love me to be the type to not give up a good fight, and I said, what's up, girl? I dig your pumas. We chat over coffee or a few beers and discuss how Harvey Milk's killer only got a few years. What's it cost to buy an alibi and who taught missiles how to fly? You said the day you lose the fight is the day you compromise it. I said the day you lose the fight is the day you pick a side of it. You laugh, and suggest we pay off our student loans by setting sail on the next Somali pirate ship. Jenny, I look anything and everything but Jewish and you just look white. I mean, like, really, like, white, like, like bathroom lighting, Guantanamo Bay, uh, like, uh, spot lighting, fluorescent white. And I <clears throat> don't know where I'm really going with that either, but sometimes it would give me the notion as to maybe what our kids would look like. Whether they had the Star of David tattooed to their chests, I could care less than if they carried your brown eyes. Whether they shouted, praise be to Allah, or thank you, Jesus, when the Vikings scored a touchdown, it wouldn't matter as long as they understood that sometimes it takes an act of God for the Vikings to score a touchdown. That's, that's all that's really important, right? I guess what I'm saying is, I don't think that your faith can be summed up by one title or one name, and we all have our fair share of misdirections and wrong turns, uh, enough to know that love is more than one word. Jenny, I don't need religion to see the God in you. 